Hello everyone. I welcome you to this online course on remote sensing and GIS. This course is supported by NPTEL. My name is Dr. Rishikesh Bharti and I am the course instructor of this course. I am a faculty member of the Department of Civil Engineering, IIT Guwahati. I hope you have visited the course web page in the NPTEL website. The web page contains full details of course syllabus and assessment pattern scheme. Right. Uh, so, let me introduce you to this course in brief. You might have heard about the Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan space missions launched by Indian Space Research Organization which is commonly known as ISRO and the images acquired or captured by them. Those images are very good examples of remotely sensed images. Right. Remote sensing is the art and science of making measurements about an object or the environment without being in physical contact with it. So, sensitivity of our eyes is limited to visible range, right? So, that is 400 to 700 nanometer. Whereas, in remote sensing, we use instruments which are sensitive beyond the visible range, that is, thermal infrared uh, wavelengths, microwave wavelengths. So, what is happening here? We are using instruments to capture the informations which are available not only in visible, but beyond visible wavelength region. Right? So, with the advancement in the technology, remote sensing and GIS have become very powerful tool in earth and planetary exploration. Right? what exactly we are doing when we are involved in remote sensing measurement. So, here you can see this satellite is looking at this particular area and here this satellite is basically a carrier. So, here we have different sensors attached to it and these sensors are having different optical system and each detector is looking at one particular location of the ground and then we capture this particular energy in the form of image or a digital number matrix. right? So, here we are basically capturing a matrix which represents your area. Let us understand how this remotely sensed images are different from our regular images. right? So, here I want to highlight this statement with the help of remote sensing instrument, we can generate several images in different wavelengths for the same area. Right? So, here it means this particular sensor has different sets of detectors which are sensitive in different wavelengths, but they are looking at the same location. Right? So, we could be able to capture different images in different wavelength region. So, that means, it indicates these images are basically captured for the same area. right? So, that means, the first pixel of first image, first pixel of second image, first pixel of third image, first pixel of fourth image, first pixel of fifth image should be for the same object. right? So, if we have this kind of information, then we can definitely identify what is the material type. right? Such information were not available from our regular uh, images. So, that is the advantage when we are using remotely sensed images. So, when you have such information, then you can have this kind of plot, where x axis is your wavelength. So, wavelengths are nothing but the different wavelengths used to generate such images and the values are nothing but the reflected emitted or backscattered values captured by your sensor. So, here in case if you have generated 4, 5 or 7 images. So, those many points you can put here. right? and then subsequently you will join them and this is known as spectral profile in remote sensing. right? So, when you are having 5 bands 
your information will be like this, but for the same area if you can generate narrow and contiguous images in different wavelengths, your spectral profile for that pixel can be very smooth. right? So, we will see how these information can be used further to explore or map a certain object or an area. So, this course will introduce you to the state of the art concepts and practices of remote sensing and GIS. It starts with the fundamental of remote sensing and GIS and subsequently advanced methods will be covered. Remote sensing and GIS is a 8 week course and will have 24 lectures. There are 8 modules in this course. So, here in this course you will learn from the scratch to the advanced level and after every module you will have an assignment which will help you to learn the subject more efficiently. This assignment will help you to learn this subject in better way. This course is designed to give comprehensive understanding on the application of remote sensing and GIS in solving the research problems. Upon completion, you all should be able to use remote sensing and GIS in your future research work. I hope you will enjoy this course. I welcome you again in this course. Let us learn together. Thank you.